I had previously used the PlayerTech GPS before uh, with a couple of other teams that I've been involved in over the last two or three years. Um, had very good experience of it. And so uh, when I spoke to the management team, uh, we sat down and looked at what it offered and uh, we, we felt that it was something that we could really go with and to cap it off then it was very cost effective and um, it was something that we could really rely on. The main benefits uh, from, from my point of view from, as, a, as a football coach is that I can liaise with the strength and conditioning team and, and in, in this case Rob uh, who is the head of strength and conditioning for the player team uh, in terms of the player loading uh, for, per sessions and that gives us a good understanding of uh, with how many metres the players have ran, the speed that they're running at, um, and it can have an impact in terms of the length of our sessions on the pitch. Uh, so from that point of view, it can, it, can, it can help me, but more particularly help Rob to liaise with me in terms of what, what those sessions should, should look like. The research is relatively sparse, so it allows us to kind of develop a framework and identify what's the main needs and performance determinants for the sport really helps you quantify um, what you can focus on. So you're able to identify um, how much distance a player needs to cover depending on position. So um, a full back would need to cover a different set distance through a, a midfielder. And that will allow me to program for my um, sessions what one player uh, covers compared to the next player. And it goes through everything. It goes through um, the speed which I need them to travel at or distance per minute. The way I use um, player tech day to day would be uh, really like planning and preparing my sessions. So. I'd have a, maybe a set distance that I need to cover in um, a session and the GPS allows me just to kind of quantify that. So um, it's easy enough um, for maybe some sessions to identify how much you're traveling but if you get kind of um, game specific it kind of is a little bit harder. So it allows me um, to plan from session to session um, it also allows me to identify which uh, players, um, how high their player loads are. The metrics that I use um, when trying to relate to my players are the ones that they're most relative to. So uh, things like uh, distance per minute, uh, overall distance, um, top speed, and these metrics the players understand. So they're able to um, I'm able to relate relate that to them. Um, it also allows me to kind of um, look at previous performances and compare uh, from game to game, so they can see are they improving um, and able to identify um, have they have they got better from game to game.